Today I was going to talk about social media, finding community on Facebook and whatnot. You can find them throughout any different social media. I'm just using Facebook because that's what I grew up on, on when I was a baby trans much um, a few years ago. So, so like pretty much um, one of the best communities to find, find when you're just coming out is a Facebook group or whatever social media you're on. I want to find a group that, um, because, um, it's very, you can actually get very much educated on certain things. I got, um, this was bef I was on there, um, originally before I became, um, very, um, very much so, um, the, like, I say walking on eggshells, you can't really, um, fully speak your mind, full mind without people being like, mm. Mm. and, like, before I just got, like, um, I posted a picture, picture of, uh, something I was wearing on Halloween, Ween and I posted being like, um, should I put this up? And it was, like, Christmas area. And they were just like pretty much making fun of me on that, which, yeah, cool, whatever. Oh, it was fun. Fun, but I also got help. Help when um, I asked for it. I needed help with um, getting a letter to um, for um, my teachers and all that stuff. And they, um, I got a um, um, little um, film the blank thingy that um, someone said, um, here, use this. This to help out. So it actually can be very useful. So like, um, useful. I have seen some kind of dumb questions before. Or like um, I've heard a question about deodorant. Deodorant, like, can I use a guy's deodorant on pre-t? <laughs> yes, you can. Can so it was kind of a funny question. Like, it doesn't matter what deodorant you wear. <laughs> I just found that funny, funny, and all that stuff. So there are at times some dumb questions. Like, it depends on what group you get, what groups you go into. I'm in a ton of groups, groups, and I've seen groups who are um, no censor to extremely censored. So you just gotta find your um, medium to um, what you feel more comfortable with. I've seen a lot of different things that um, have been warning, trigger warnings for like stuff that's even transition related. Like um, I've seen a while ago a trigger warning for facial hair. I don't know. So it depends on like you'll have to get a feel for them if you're like, do I like this group? Do I not like this group? But it's an amazing place. Sorry, my nose itches. <laughs> but it's a it can be a very good place to um, kind of come into yourself. So if I've seen like um. A lot of places have banned do I pass? Pass post from what I've seen, so just wary of that. That but um a lot of people um places are very um trying to validate everyone's needs and all that stuff, which is very good. Good and others are just like a talk crap group that but actually can help with trans transition if you want to just um go searching around pretty much. Which it can be a very helpful um part part in finding community and friends. I found a lot of friends through through being on Facebook groups, I will say that. I found a lot of trans friends from that. That which can be extremely useful <laughs> and helpful. Well, because you're like, um, if you don't feel comfortable asking it in a group, but you're really comfortable with this person, then you're just like, um, yeah, so does this work or whatever? Whatever, and if they're comfortable, yeah, just talk. Talk, so, um, it just opens you up to more of the community, which is important, because when you're, um, beginning a transition, you kind of feel alone, because we have very poor representation in the media. Media, like, it sucks, so. So, yeah, just try and find a community online through social media. You can help you feel more like at home, home with yourself and try and get a community and know you're not alone. Well, it can very much help and also just get regular help also. Like, like I said, I needed help with um, a letter to my teachers. Teachers are coming up, I got help with that. Before I needed, I was showing a picture of a haircut I did it, which um, had like a line in it, which it was bad. <laughs> like I had screwed up on the line pretty bad, but and I was told, told me like they were like, hey, I'm uh, I think someone was an actual person who does hair, and be like, I'm gonna try this or whatever. But so it can be very useful at times. Though at times has very much changed since I started on started on getting on Facebook groups for that stuff. Yeah, so just try your luck. So try and find a few groups that you um can relate with and all that stuff, and just be chill with them. So, yeah. Social media um, groups is going to be an awesome thing for the trans community because it finds the unity and all that stuff that um, the trans community lacks in general.